Hello and good morning and thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Annetta and a very warm welcome to our very first online holiday Bible club. We've got a jam-packed morning full of fun for you so we hope you stay with us and have lots of fun. So some things to expect is first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our hearts warmed up and have a bit of a warm up with our fitness crew and then we're going to meet our two silly pirates. Here's a question for you. Why are pirates called pirates? Because they are We've got lots more uh, jokes on where that's come from, so do stick with us. Then we're going to find out a, a man called Jonah who tried to run away from God and was swallowed by a giant fish. What? And after that, we're going to have some craft bits for you and a fun song to learn. So we really hope you enjoy it and have lots of fun. Um, and then we'll see you soon and we'll see you next two days as well. So stick with us. Hey guys, how's it going? So it's time to start with the warm-up. So we're going to be getting going, getting the blood flowing before we start. So I need you all to get up out of your bed, off the sofa, and we're going to get started. We're going to start off with some run and spot. So get your knees nice and high. Run and spot, we're going to do this for 20 seconds. As high as you can, try and beat the person next to you. Try and beat me when you're doing this. We're going to really get going. I see you in the back. Let's get up and start moving. Nice and fast, people. Nice climbing. Good. Now we're going to be kicking out in front of us. So kicking out. Try not to hit anyone in front of you. But if they do happen to get in the way, then well, that's the run button. There we go. Nice and high. Nice and high legs. Just like, like a little dance, really. That's great. And now we're going to go into star jumps. So nice. Arms up, wide feet out. And we're going to get moving. Keep it moving. If you're getting a bit tired, it's okay. Just keep going. It's not bad about that. Keep it moving. There we go. There we go. Five more five. Four. Three. Two. One. Very good. Well, you know what? We're also getting our minds going today. So, what we're going to do? Pat on your head and rub your stomach. This might be hard for something. This is really hard for me, actually. So I can't figure it out sometimes. So, we're going to switch. Oh, there we go. There we go, there we go. Three, two. And then we're going to switch up. So, rather your head pain, you stop, I can't do it. Hold on. There we go. There we go. And then the other way. Is it? There we go. I already struggled that one. This is hard. I'm older than you guys. Good. And now back to run on the spot. Didn't really hard run on the spot. What's that? I hear we're about to begin, people. Well done for the warm up. I'll see you all in there. from the captain here, you better come watch it. Oh, I'm just making the place look pretty. She yeah, doesn't on, she on. doesn't look too happy. I'd come watch it mate. This is the mission for you two numpties. There is a guy called Jonah and you pirates must find him. There is some talk about some treasure and I think he knows where it is, okay? So pirates, you must find him. Do not fail me or the plank it will be. Well, well, someone woke up on the wrong side of the hammock this morning. Yeah, I can say that again. Anyway, how does she mm -hmm. expect us to find that Jonah guy anyway? Oh, that's easy. That, that's the easy bit. All you got to do is go downstairs, and get the iPad, Google Maps it, and we'll find him. Easy. Really simple. Okay. Just go get it. I'll go tell you ahead. what, I'll grab them rules while I'm down there as well. Thank you. That's a good point. Need to look at them again. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Oh, nice one, mate. Uh, here you go. What's that? Well, you said get the eye patch, so I've got you your eye patch. I said get the eye pad, not the eye patch. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I mean, this is a funny thing. Is it now? Yeah, because I've got your eye patch. Yeah? But there's no eye pads. There's what? 
Don't okay. worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Look, look, look. The house rules say always have a backup map. So just you go and get the backup map and we're fine, we're fine. Oh, so, so the backup map that you were meant to bring? That you were meant to bring it? No, 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 that was definitely on your job. No. Squidlips, I think if you check the instructions of who was meant to bring what, the list of things we were meant to bring, under your list, it says backup map. Ah, uh, you see, the problem is, um, I was so focused on your eye patch, which you clearly wanted me to bring, that I focused so much on that, that we obviously don't have a backup map. So we haven't got it? No? Well, unless you brought one secretly, then no, no we don't. Oh, surprise, surprise, I didn't bring my backup, backup map. But never mind, it doesn't matter. We'll look, it is what it is. We'll just carry, we know roughly where to go. We'll just okay. follow the direction okay. and we'll see what happens. We're sure to find some treasure along the way. <gasps> treasure? Yes, treasure. Like treasure, treasure. Uh, yeah, treasure. Do you treasure. think, like, this is important. Here we go. Do you Why? think we can find some new shoes? Because I've only got one. Do you think we can find some new shoes to go in my new bag? Let's, okay, let's. That's not the main issue, but fine, let's go. All right, let's go have a look. Those silly pirates. Who would confuse an eye patch for an iPad? I wonder if they'll ever get to see Jonah anyway. But did you hear the captain say that Jonah had some kind of special treasure? Hmm, that's quite interesting. I wonder what it could be. Well, did you know that Jonah was alive a long, long, long time ago, even before Jesus walked on the earth? And that was before they had the Bible written down for us. That's God's word. And what used to happen then is God would speak through special people called the prophets. And Jonah was one of those prophets. And so one day God spoke to Jonah and he said, I want you to go to a town called Nineveh. Well, to me and you, that's like, okay, it's just a town called Nineveh. But Jonah knew all about it. He knew how scary it was. He knew that it was famous for all the nasty people that were nasty to each other, that didn't like God, and that didn't like people that liked God. So Jonah might have been a little bit worried. And then God said, well, when you get there, I want you to tell them this. I want you to say, the Lord has seen your terrible sins. You are doomed. That's fairly serious, isn't it? Well, what do you think Jonah did? Well, he went to the beach and he went to see where the boats are and he saw the boat that would take him to Nineveh and he saw the boat that would take him in the opposite direction. Now Jonah decided to try to run away from God and go in the opposite direction. That's like me saying to you, hey guys, I want you to go to London, but instead you go to Brighton. Opposite direction. But also, God's word tells us in the beginning, in the book of Genesis, that God created the earth and the sea and the wind and the animals and the people. He created everything. So, you can't run away from God. But Jonah was going to try. And so he got into this boat that was going in the other direction. And he met all the people that were on there. And for a while, everything seemed to be okay. And then, out of nowhere, this big massive storm happened. There was wind and there were waves and there was just splashing across the boat and the boat looked like it was about to disintegrate, it was about to break apart. And everybody was so scared. They were going, oh, I don't know what's going to happen. I think, I'm, I think we're gonna die, I'm really scared. And they found Jonah and they said, Jonah, what's going on? Why is this happening? Well, then Jonah said, I am a Hebrew, I worship the Lord God who created the heavens and the dry land and the seas. And they were even more scared. They thought, Jonah, you worship the God who created everything, the heavens and the seas and dry land. You tried to run away from him. And Jonah knew what he'd done was, was wrong. And so they said, well, what, what can we do? How can we make this better? The storm was still happening. And Jonah said, there's only one thing you can do. What do you think that is? Well, Jonah said, you have to throw me into the sea. It's a bit of a strange thing to say, isn't it? And they didn't want to do that because they still liked Jonah. But he said, it's the only way because I've been running away from God and you have to throw me into the sea. Well, they tried their best to try to row back to, to land. They tried to go in the opposite direction, try to throw stuff out the boat. But nothing worked. A storm was still happening. And eventually they said, okay, 
we're gonna have to do it and go through Joan down to the sea and all of a sudden the storm stopped and this big sea creature swam up to Jonah and to find out what happened next you have to join us tomorrow but what we do know from this story is that God is awesome he is the creator of everything and he has power over the winds and the seas and the storms and do you know who else had power over the storms well in another part of the Bible it says here that Jesus had power over the storms. He calmed a storm, the wind and the waves, was just by speaking and saying, quiet. Because Jesus is God, you see, and he is also in charge. And so even when things seem stormy and scary, we can trust in this amazing God who has this amazing power. So make sure you join us tomorrow for the next part of Jonah's story. Good morning, my hearties. Are you ready for a craft time? Fantastic. Now, if you've got one of our craft packs, you'll have all the stuff you need to make the crafts in there. If you didn't, today you need a cardboard tube because we're going to make a parrot. Uh, all good pirates have a parrot sitting on their shoulder. And we've got some tissue paper, green and red, and some feathers and some googly eyes but you can draw eyes on and then a bit of orange card to make a beak there's a little triangle drawn on there i'll show you that in a minute first thing to do you need your glue stick i'm going to glue all over the cardboard tube might get a little bit sticky a little bit messy but it doesn't matter it's good we can wash our hands when we've finished so cardboard tube nice and tissue nice and gluey and then you need your tissue to put on it Gonna stick one strip round like that, all the way around, and then the second strip, the red one, whoop, wobbly, doesn't matter. We're gonna stick that on top, so you've got red and green, so you can have it that way or that way. I think I'll have it that way with green on top. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is cut out the beak. So if you've got a craft pack, you've got a piece of paper, and it's got a triangle drawn on there so I'm going to use my scissors and I'm just going to do some snips and cut out the triangle. If you find cutting a little bit difficult you can ask a grown-up to help you with that can't you? So I've made a beak so I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the front and then I'm going to stick on the beak and I think what I might do is just whoop, flap that up a little bit sticks out. Can you see? Marvellous. Now I'm going to take my googly eyes. Now they should peel off the ones that you've got in your pack or if you haven't got these to say you can just draw some. So they're the nice wobbly 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 eyes. Look, turn them around so I can see. There you go. Googly eyes. Now on the back I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the inside at the back. It can be a bit tricky, so you can always, as I say, you can always ask a grown-up to help you with some of these things. Um, or a big brother or sister, if you've got one of those. And then, I'm going to take some of the feathers that we've got. I've got an orange one here, and we're going to stick those in. So can you start to see, he's got some feathers. What else have I got here? Oh, a purple one. That's a nice clash with the orange, isn't it? Orange and purple. And let's have a blue one. Oh, look at him. He's looking a bit smart. So he's got feathers on the top. And now I'm going to use another two feathers. I've got, I happen to have two red ones here. And I'm going to put some glue on the sides. And these are going to look like his wings. So, glue down both sides, and then one on that side. There's the, oops, feet got a bit stuck down. There we go, there's the front of him again. So he's got one wing on that side. This one's a bit smaller, but that doesn't matter. And one wing on that side. So can you see him? And you've made your very own pirate parrot to sit on ye shoulder, har. 
well done if you managed to make one of those. That is fabulous and we'll make some more things another time. Bye bye. Hi everyone, we're now going to sing Tiny Little Me. The words will appear on the screen so please do join in and sing along. Have you ever wondered how the God you made the universe and all the plants and creatures that you have ever seen? The planet, stars, the moon and sun is watching over everyone and still has time for tiny little me. My God made crocodiles and antelopes Jellyfish and billy goats Elephants and spiders And buffaloes and bees Rattlesnakes and porcupines And ladybirds and butterflies And still has time for Tiny little me My God made deserts dry And mountains tall Jungle vines and waterfalls All kinds of places where I have never been Forest green and oceans wide The wind and rain and sea and sky And still has time for tiny little me And he knows how I feel every night, every day and he knows what I'm thinking and what I'm going to say And he's known all about me since before The day that I was made Two, three, my God made mums and dads and great grandmothers Aunties, uncles and stepbrothers All the different people who in my family Ran at sisters, babies too And second cousins twice removed And still has time for Tiny little me Squ Squid lips, have you? Squid lips, have you seen that out there? Mate, that's just the sea. Oh, We're on the no. sea every single day. Not the sea, the giant fish. The giant whoa, fish. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me stop you there. What? I'm on a diet. I have lost a lot of weight recently. There's no need to go around calling me a big fish. Really? A diet? Those clothes don't seem really okay, okay. you. I'll explain it to you. Have you heard of the seafood diet? Uh, oh, no. I'll explain it then. It's my favourite. So basically, a seafood... Yes. And then I eat it. Oh, for crying out loud. How did I get stuck on a ship with you? Never mind. No, I mean the giant fish out there. I think it's all a Jonah. I saw some guy bobbing around. It looked like Jonah. No way. That is cray cray. Oh, you're not being helpful. What we need to do is get to the mast, get the sails, get them up quick, chase after. We need to be quick because there's a storm brewing. Brewing? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's a storm brewing. If you're making, yeah, I'll have a tea. Milk, two sugars. Oh, that's a good point, yeah. All right, well, I'll stick the kettle on, but we need to get going, okay? Let's go.